I'm not your brother no more. I mean, yeah, based off shit, another nigga say, bro. We gotta get this nah, situation see, straight. Nah, see, bro, see, I, you know what? Then you know it. Like I told you on the status, bro. I quit. I quit. Delete. Repeat. Delete. Repeat. 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 We got the answer to all of your problems. Delete. Repeat. Delete. Repeat. 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 No, come on the show if you're looking for problems. But. But we're going to get back to Too Hot saying that you put the dick on Vic and made him move to Milwaukee. Man, what's up with that? You got to ask that nigga this shit. So is it, is it some truth in it? And is it any truth in that? Shit, in his mind right now, apparently, because shit, these motherfuckers all, I wake up. I link up with bro now. They like, hey, fool, you seen this shit? What? Motherfucker run show me the phone on the live. This nigga like... Let me tell you about Max Farrell. Bro, why the fuck is my name in your mouth, bro? You know what I mean? I Whoa. mean, he, he spoke on you because you, you butted in like, on this what we Like, this type shit we hitting? Big, bro, like, nah, I don't even move like that type shit. I been your cameraman six years. You didn't see right. man. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all agree. Mm -hmm. I, never, I never had a problem with you uh, seeming to want to go that way. I never thought of that. I ain't gonna and never I have a problem with that. Shit. You know, and most and guys, accomplish the goddamn goal and see what I'm gonna do after I get the bitch. Right. In, in certain cases, that be a cover up, but I'm gonna say, in your case, I, I really didn't see that. I don't see that in you. Exactly. And I, I, just, I don't believe it. But at the same time, what's your response to him saying that uh, I should fire you? Bro, I already told you what they were. I'm giving you the interview right now with the strength of you being like my, you my brother. But I already told you, as far as this, the business-wise shit, I mean, bro, hold on now. You got to no, watch no, how you no. say that, because I don't know about, you know, being brothers. Oh, uh, so now, so, so, see, so not, so like now you going to stop me. So now I'm stop, I'm I'm not your brother no more, because I mean, yeah, based off shit another nigga gotta, say, bro. We got to get this nah, situation see, straight. Nah, see, bro, see, uh, you know what, then you know it. Like I told you on the status, bro, I quit. I quit. So... Basically, you would you would just say, "Oh well, you will quit." I mean, you you willing to fire me over some shit? This nigga saying a nigga what this nigga done did for you for the last six years? I mean, he had given me interviews. Like he was one of the first ones that gave me an interview when everybody else wouldn't. He so, gave you interviews. After aside interview, from after everything interview. else that you've been doing, who been right there with you? Yeah, you have uh, exactly. All the way That's from what day I'm one. saying. Though, so it's like. If that nigga opinion gonna make you take it there and then you I don't need nobody being brothers no more. Like what the fuck? I bet. Well like, you, you you got a you got a point. And like I like, hey, like I said, I never seen that side of you, never thought that you would be a booty bandit, you know? That that never man, came across my mind. And fuck? I would pray that you're not. Because uh, you know, I, I brought you around. I keep you around because you're good for business. You know how to handle yourself. You know how to con conduct yourself to handle business and, and do what you need to do to make sure my business flourishes. Exactly. So that's why, I, you know, I feel like I can say you're my brother. A nigga ain't you never brought no bad image to this shit. If anything, that nigga want to do it. Cause why he even attached me to the business if there was something that had to do with me? He brought you and your brand into this when it was me and him. I mean, that didn't know, no, no, the same way you said I butted in that, he put you in this and got you trying to go against me. You let this nigga in your head. We're going to flip this, so how do you feel about letting him play on your I wouldn't music? just say that. I wouldn't say I just let him in my head. I just, I would say that um, I'm giving content because, you know, a lot of people was calling for this. Uh, people exactly. want to see your side of the story. I wanted you to get your side of the story. How can I call myself a brother or how can I call myself a friend if I can't let you get see, your point See, see, see. At this point, do you even call yourself my brother? You just say it off of his allegations. Like, now, what what we doing, man? See, like, am I your brother? Your co-worker? Or what? Like, type shit. Well, I ain't even your co-worker no more. You fine. Hold on, hold on. So, we're going to get to this. So, let me ask you this right here. We're just going to move on. We're going to leave that alone. So, do you feel like with what's going on and what you got going on, and from what, you know, two high allegations are, you know, what he's are saying and claiming, do you feel like that you being around is bad for business or could be bad for the business? How are they going to be bad for business? Did I go kill an innocent family or something? Did I just go walk around here and catch bodies and I'm back out here trying to do it like I'm innocent and shit happen? I mean... Did if, I bring harm to somebody? If you're not clean, you can. If you're not clean, you definitely can kill somebody. And I know, like, 
if you are doing those type of things, you you can actually kill people, you know, behind closed doors. Which I once again, hey, I I, I pray. And if